Sorry, can you repeat the second part of the question? Second question. Comment. But Krishna has a question that should the Muslims have a common body to represent the MBC, Muslim British Council, and I think you're doing a good job. Not in the media. Do you want to comment on British, on the organization or my answer? The sister said that the Muslim Council of Britain is there, but the media doesn't talk. So you create your own media. Media will run after you. You know, for me, in Bombay, the BBC asked me to give comments. The CNN, I don't give, for my own reasons. The BBC, the CNN, the NDTV, you make see when someone throws stones at you, raise yourself so high the stone should not reach you. They want what Dr. Zakinek has to comment, but I stay away from it for my own reasons. But you should come on the media. I stay away because already, alhamdulillah, my programs are coming in so many satellite channels, mashallah. Every day, one hour, two hours, twice a day, thrice a day. Now I'm afraid that when these people take my interview of five minutes, they may make it short and may change my view. That's the reason I stay away. And what I want to say, we have got so many channels showing a program, mashallah. No problem. So what we realize that we should have our own media. Not only a body to represent media, we should have our own media. Own media. And that media should be powerful. So that's the reason, mashallah, we have launched a satellite channel. If you see this, Peace TV. About seven months back, in the month of January 2006, on 24th of January, we launched our own satellite channel by the name of Peace TV. Peace TV at present, mashallah, it is reaching more than 125 countries in the world. It is covering all the countries in Asia, in Middle East, as well as Africa, and parts of Australia. The beam is seen in Europe, but very weak. You require a big dish. Inshallah, we have plans to come on B Sky B also. Inshallah, within the next few months, Inshallah, we'll come on B Sky B. It will be a free to air channel. It's the, it's the first of its kind in the way it's the English channel, it's an international channel. It's not a localized channel talking only about one country. It's not talking. We have speakers, mashallah, from America, from Canada, from UK, from Singapore, from Malaysia, from Saudi, from India, from Pakistan, mashallah. It's not a local channel. It's an international channel talking about comparative religion. We have programs of children. We have programs for family, mashallah. Interviews, debates, TV talks. And here it is that the channel should be on Quran and Sunnah. When I started the channel, the first thing I said, I prayed to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It was a dream. And finally, we launched it, mashallah. And I said that, I want to start, but please, not, please don't let me do anything haram. If I'm forced to do something haram, I better shut down the channel than run it in a haram way. Many people start a channel, they are good, but then they compromise. There's a compromise. First, there's no lady, then lady comes with naqab, then without naqab, then without hijab, then low neck and everything. So we want channels which are, why should we? See, we should not run after money. No ads will not come. We care a hang for ads. See, you should not run after money. Money should run after you. You give quality. You should have faith in Allah. Do you want Allah's help or do you want the money and the pound and the dollars? What do you want? Say, Allah is sufficient. If we have problem, is we have more faith in other things than in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Our channel, mashallah, to the core, no music. We have sound effects, mashallah, hala sound effects. We have duff, we have natural sound effect. And if you see it, it has a great impact, mashallah. We have graphics, but halal. We have own committee. And we produce high quality. You see these cameras? We have got six cameras from Bombay. 
Normally in Bombay, when you shoot with nine cameras, we have 50 staff. Here we have only 12 staff. Nine, nine, ten actually, of the camera crew. Your limitation. We have the best of people, mashallah, best of equipment, alhamdulillah. We have, now this is the digital beta cam, we have gone high definition. High definition hasn't started yet. There's no channel in the world which has, which is shooting on high definition now. So we don't compete with Muslim channels. We compete with international non-Muslim channels. And the best so far in religious channel is the God TV. They are on 15 satellites. They are reaching more than 225 countries, 275 million people. And we are programming in such a way that it is a spiritual edutainment channel. Inshallah, the next plan is to have a separate channel in different language, English and Urdu, then have even news channel, Inshallah. But it will be international news, not local news. Not only of Bombay, not only of London, international news. So that we can voice. How many international media do we have? Do we have any international newspaper found? Do we have an international news magazine? Like the Time magazine, Newsweek, where do we have? We have some magazine taken out by Muslims, which only Muslims read. Either in Urdu or in Arabic or, Mus or in English, only read by Muslims. What we want that non-Muslims should watch it. So we can at least say that, Alhamdulillah, our channel, mashallah, even the program that we have, that 25% at least, mashallah, of the program that, that I give, whether in India or other parts, mashallah, here we find that, here I feel more non-Muslims should come. Why? I don't know so many. Who's to blame? That the publicity should be towards towards the non-Muslim, mashallah. So even the channel that we have, sister, we should have our own media, own newspapers, own magazines, own satellite channel, which produce, which, which convey the true picture of Islam so that we can present our view to the world and the haq of Islam. Hope that answers the question. Wa akhru da'wana, alhamdulillah, I invite, I invite Brother Yusuf Chambers to give the vote of thanks. Jazakallah khair. Can I ask you a question? for Dr. Nakazaki and I coming tonight, and all of you coming tonight, contributing tonight. Remember that educating the educators, it doesn't stop after tonight's event. It doesn't stop in Croydon. It doesn't stop in Brighton or Cardiff when we're in those cities. It doesn't stop at all. It goes on and on and on, like I do when I do my fundraising. But if you want to give 5,000 for this, you're welcome. Anyway. Uh, Dr. Zakir Knight will be in Croydon with us tomorrow. Tomorrow, from we start the program at two o'clock. I think it goes all the way through to about ten. And by the time Dr. Zakir Knight's finished, it'll be one o'clock in the morning. But he never finishes answering the questions. He's always got the answers. Masha Allah, Alhamdulillah. And I think you should make the biggest takbir and we'll all go home. Takbir. Takbir. And the third one. Takbir! <laughs> so, do come tomorrow night. Do come to Brighton. Go to ete.org.uk and you can see where he's uh, heading. Now, anybody who has paid for a VIP, very important person, ticket, you have to remain here. If you've paid, okay? Because the, and if there's, there's one or two individuals I, I invited myself for a particular reason, you know who you are, so you have to stand here, okay? In an orderly queue. So please, and then that's it, and Jazakallah khair, and I trust that you'll have a good, uh, uh, what is it, a journey home, and uh, we've only got 50 seats left in the restaurant, by the way. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah wal as. إِنَّ الْإِنسَانَ لَفِي خُسَرٍ إِلَّا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَعَمَلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ وَتَوَالَى الصَّوْبِ الْحَقِّ وَتَوَالَى الصَّوْبِ الصَّبْرِ